Hello everyone, it is Ryan back here on the Syntax Byte, and in this video I'm very excited to share with you how to get live exchange rates into Microsoft Excel using a web query. Now it took me several hours to get this set up just the way I like it, so I'm excited to share it with you in less than 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started and get some live exchange rates for absolutely free, might I add, into Microsoft Excel. Okay, so to start off here, you're going to go to currency.com slash API. This is a website that has a free currency API. It doesn't seem to support every pairing, but finding a free API was a bit of a task. So hopefully this one keeps on running. It is fairly good for free. So if you have complex currency needs, you might consider something else, but this is fairly good for free. Now the first step here is to copy the first part of the URL, which is this API adapter .com, and then go into Excel. And when you get there, click on the data tab and then click the from web icon. Click advanced so we can use the URL parts and paste that first part in there. Now go back to the website and go to market data endpoints and 24 hour ticker price change statistics. And then just copy that. That's going to be the last part of the URL. We can just add that into the same first part. Then we're going to add question mark symbol equals. And then as a second part, I'm going to put my symbol. So USD CAD in my case, and I'll have this full URL on the screen as well as my written tutorial down below when it comes out. Go ahead and click OK, and it's going to open all that information in Power Query. Now, if this is what you want, just go ahead and give the, uh, the query a name. I'm going to call mine FX Rate. And if this is good enough for you, you can go ahead and close and load, and then just add it onto the worksheet, and it opens up as a table. But what I'm going to show you how to do is actually get a table of pairs into Microsoft Excel. So this is just a single pair. It's not able to be updated live. So go ahead and go load to and then click only create connection. So that'll get that table out of there. And then we can go ahead and actually make this a function that we can use with multiple pairs. So I'm going to create a pair list. I'm going to start off with a header that says pair. And then I'm just going to create a list of pairs that I want to get the exchange rate for. I'm just going to go ahead and type those in. And so once I have those, I'm going to go to data and then I'm going to actually do from table range and create this table into its own query. And so we're going to find that last price. That's the exchange rate. And we're going to click drill down and then we're going to go to the advanced editor and change it into a function. So I'm just going to add a line at the top of the code here and we're going to put in parentheses pair space as text. And then we're going to put an equal sign and a greater than sign. That's going to change it into a function. Then in the URL where we had the pair USD CAD, we're going to just change it to say pair, no quotes. Now it's a function and we can just test it by typing in this box here, click invoke. And we see that it still gives us the information that we're looking for. We can go ahead and delete the query that was created and then modify our table query to actually utilize this new function. So now I'm just going to add a column from example so that the Power Query will write the code to add a column and then it's just less changes for us to do. So this is the text before delimiter function. Then we can go into the advanced editor. Anywhere it says text before delimiter, I'm going to change that to exchange rate. So just give me a moment to do that. Okay, and then where we have this each, this is where we're going to call our function. So I'm going to back off that bat bit of that text before delimiter function, and then I'm going to replace text up before delimiter with fx rate. So it should be fx rate ba uh, brackets, uh, square brackets pair. Now it's going to give us a privacy warning, so we can just turn that off, and this allows our queries to sort of utilize each other without Excel worrying about privacy issues between the two queries. And then just like we have it, we have our table of exchange rates. So now we can go ahead and close and load it to a new worksheet. And that shows up there as sheet two.
And so now if we want to add a new pair, we can actually go back to our original table and add it there. You can't add it in the newly inserted table, but you can add it in the originally inserted table and then go back and do a query refresh. And it will go ahead and add that new rate in there. And so because these are live exchange rates, you might want to go ahead and refresh it automatically on occasion. So you can go to properties and you can enable refreshing when opening the file as well as refreshing every certain number of minutes. Perfect, so I hope that was really helpful for you guys. It shows you how to get not just one exchange rate in as a power query, and again, if that's all you need, then you feel free to just use that simple method there, just putting the URL in and doing a quick close and load. But if you do wanna have a table where you can add new pairs and get them updated live in a nice clean pair, uh, a table of exchange rates, then you can do that as well by converting the query to be a function and then adding another query that actually utilizes that function along with some sort of sourcing for your pairs in Power Query. So I hope this was helpful guys. If you, if you did find it helpful, please do go ahead and give a like on the video and subscribe for more content in the future. Really helps me out guys, really motivates me to keep making this content for you guys. Again, this did take me several hours to figure out. So I hope it has saved you a lot of time and I will catch you in the next video.